So a new ski for this year is the Anthem. This is a 93 waist width. It's only more surface to land on. It's only more surface on rail to help you out. So I think it's always, it's always better to have a wider ski. It's 93 underfoot. What people think is too wide for a park ski, but in reality, it's, it's just perfect. It's solid on big jumps. Like you can hit a good 65 foot jump on the Anthem. Sometimes you've got a ghetto in run or a ghetto landing and there's always snow chunks and bumps here and there. And you don't like sh shot off course or anything. You just plow through them just like the nothing. Just a fat ski, but super light. It's kind of like landing on a pillow when you're coming out of the sky. You got that big fat platform to land on and even if you're a little bit squirrely, they're gonna ride away. A feature that you won't find on any other ski in the world is the butter zone. And what that is, is a point on the ski in front of your binding where the profile of the core dips down. It's a hinge point. So when you lean out over the front of your ski or up and back on the tail, doing nose presses, tail presses, or buttering, you're gonna have a lot more control. It'll actually, every time, bend at the exact same point and what we have in front of that is a stiffer ski in the tail, stiffer ski underfoot, and a stiffer ski in the tip. And so what you get is a ski that you can easily and with great control butter and do presses, but when you put it on edge, it's gonna carve and rip the whole mountain like any other ski. Instead of the ski bending even throughout the entire thing and springing you in a weird direction, it bends in one area and that way you can stay on that one spot in the butter zone while spinning around and that really keeps you more in control. A lot of you guys are out there center mounting a directional ski. And what you're doing in that case is fighting the intended design. Here, we've designed the ski around your center mounting point. When you're trying to ski switch, trying to go center mount on a ski that isn't meant for it, or trying to ski a ski that isn't center mount is it's just that much more difficult. If you're coming in switch, you're not gonna have like a two centimeter tail. I mean, you got tons of room and tons of stability and equal weight. When you're doing your tricks, you might be off balance because you've got so much extra weight in your tip before because we always mounted it back. But now having it right in the center, you've got equal weight, which means you can, you're just more stable. You're on your tricks better. New for this year in the Anthem is carbon ollie band. You can't see it through the graphic, but we put the carbon ollie band in here to give even more pop. Without the ollie band, it may be difficult to ollie off of flat without any jump, but the ollie band allows you to get up on these heights and especially for nollies, you're really gonna feel the extra pop. It's easy to carve off jumps and get a little extra snap out of your uh, carve. The side cut of the Anthem is very unique. It's got an elliptical side cut, which was actually developed from the Elizabeth Pollard's concept, where it's a deep side cut in the tip and the tail. It's gonna initiate quickly. When you're going to carve off the lips of jumps, it's gonna throw you into a cork spin really smoothly in control. It's just an all-around fun ski. You can't go wrong with it.